Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris Winter here for another DSLR review. Now today I want to take a look at what I think is the best tripod for under $50. So we are talking really quite a uh, cheap budget here. But here it is. It is the Dolica A620B100 tripod. That is an absolute mouthful, but I've got to say this is a fantastic tripod if you're looking for a budget tripod or if you're looking for a backup because this one is an absolute beauty. All right, so it's a little bit easier for me to show you the tripod features uh, when I'm standing a little bit further away from the camera. But as you can see, this is the uh, tripod all uh, closed up and it's still a pretty uh, small package. It's not the smallest tripod folded up, but it is uh, definitely portable and uh, portable enough to travel with. So what I'll do is unlock the legs right here. You can up unlock them quickly by just pulling on them all at once and then locking them up. It's definitely not the quickest way of doing this. I do find that twist lock legs are uh, quicker, but it's not a bad little way of doing it. So as you can see right here, this is the Dolica tripod all uh, set up. Uh, it's got this ball head on here. So if you do want to do some vertical shooting, it's pretty easy just to have it like this and then tighten it up and then you can shoot away like that. The grip on it is actually quite nice uh, for tightening it up and it is quite easy to get uh, it nice and tight and it's not going to move at all like this. So what I want to show you now is just how high it can go because obviously uh, with the tripod they can go higher and you can just see just how uh, tall they go. Uh, this is a 62 inch tripod and I'm around about 5 foot 9 and a half so I'm pretty short but as you can see that is all the way up and it's about as tall as me or a little bit taller. So that's totally uh, enough height for most, uh, most situations. Uh, so we'll put it down like this. Just for reference sake, I've got a Canon T3i on here. So it's quite a small camera, but it has absolutely no problems in uh, holding this weight, which actually isn't that much because it's a small camera. Okay, so what I'll show you now is this. I've got a sandbag here. Well, it's actually a DIY sandbag. Just a bag with some sand in it. And I'll show you that it can easily hold. That would easily be about 10 kilos there. And this tripod's having absolutely no problems in holding it. Uh, and having the sandbag really does just help from having the tripod uh, knock over, uh, which can be a bit of a problem if you've got an expensive camera on top. Another cool feature is that the tripod comes with a really nice tripod bag. And I'm very happy that this uh, came with it and I was a bit surprised actually. It's got a shoulder strap and it's got a nice zip with two zips on it which means that it's easy to uh, zip, up, zip up. These kind of tripod bags are actually quite hard to come by and they're, they're good for lots of different camera equipment. So this doesn't come with a fluid tripod head so if you are looking for a video uh, tripod this probably isn't the one for you. Saying that the legs are actually really good for video because they're quite solid and they're not going to be moving but like I said, this is a ball head, so it's definitely not going to be able to get any kind of smooth pans. So if you want to use this for video, I would definitely recommend getting a dedicated video fluid head. I did a review on a, another tripod which had a really good fluid head. I'll put a link right here if you want to watch that. Another cool feature about this tripod is that it's got a uh, bubble level, which is a really, really nice feature. Actually, it's got two bubble levels, uh, spirit levels. Sorry, bubble level. Uh, one on the actual tripod legs and one up here on the ball head, which means that it's easy if you want to just get this quickly centered and level to the ground, which is a nice feature. It means you don't have to put a uh, hot shoe bubble level on there. So I'm pretty happy with that. So one thing that a lot of reviewers generally miss out on when they're actually reviewing a tripod is actually using it. So what I want to do is jump over behind the uh, camera, uh, my T3i and uh, use the tripod. So as you can see right here, if I just want to move it quickly, I can quickly adjust it, lock it off, and there is Peter Griffin from, from Family Guy. Um, and as you can see, it is really stable. There isn't any movement, and it's just very easy to, to quickly lock it on and lock it off, which is a nice feature. Like I said, this isn't going to be a good video uh, tripod, well, a good video head. If you want to do video, you'll definitely need a fluid head. But I'll just show you quickly that even with relatively steady hands, there's no way that you're going to be able to get a good smooth pan on that. So use this for a uh, still photography and you'll be happy. I'll just show you quickly that it does go into vertical mode really quite easily and it's easy to lock that off and then 
just have it like that. So that was the Dolica tripod. Look guys, if you're looking for a tripod on a budget, for under $50, you can't beat this tripod. Generally at that price, you're gonna be getting a piece of crap plastic tripod which will break on you very, very quickly. This has got a good solid metal construction, a nice ball head, it works really well, locks down tight. It's got some good flip lock legs and it's got the spikes if you need them. Uh, if you wanna pick this one up, you can click the link to the right and that'll take you straight to Amazon. Uh, go and read the reviews. There are something like 1,500 reviews, which is a crazy number. So this must be a very, very popular tripod. I think I'm a bit late to the game. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, I'd love for you to leave a thumbs up because it means a lot to me because it takes a while for me to do these reviews. And other than that, if you're new to the channel, uh, why not subscribe? I do plenty of uh, photography reviews and tips and DIY stuff. And other than that, have a nice day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.